Wednesday, it is a poor day. The last video, if you watched the last video, was that stamp patio project that we did. That was probably a month ago, believe it or not. I know I said we were going to be filming every week after that, but we are just really busy. There's really no excuses, but after that we did a driveway, driveway extension, uh, a couple shed slabs for like some small sheds, and then we also did some others. Oh yeah, we did a sun porch patio with kind of like a broken step, a long broken step leading to the, to the sliding door. But we actually bought these uh, the form liners for like stairs. You put it on uh, the face of the stair when you, before you pour it, and it kind of gives it a broken rock texture. But anyways, today we're pouring a decent patio. It's 24 by 20 or 24 by 19, so it's pretty decent. We'll put a, a border cut on it. Put like an 8 inch or 12 inch border on it, and then we'll texture that with our our stone texture mat. And we'll also we're gonna bring some some darker gray powder release to throw on it to get to give the border to spice it up the border a little bit, and then it'll just be a regular broom in the middle. Should be good. It's gonna be super hot today. I got two gallons of water. One is in the fridge. One is in the freezer. So when I finish the first one, the frozen one will be a half thawed. So I'll still have some cold water. Life hack. But I'm gonna continue driving. I'll show you the job when we get there. You just gotta put some rebar and compact and put some expansion, plastic, some little stuff. But stay tuned, I'm gonna continue driving. Well, this is the job. As you can see, we got mesh and rebar in here because we're running a little bit low on rebar, so we just brought some mesh to put some extra in. There's plenty of reinforcement. Connor just putting the curve in this one corner. Yeah, it's a pretty big patio. A lot of expansion. But there's a lot of these PVCs that go on the ground for electrical and stuff. Two right here, two right there, and then there's one right here. And we actually come by this a lot. We kind of just tape expansion around it like that. Looks pretty good this window well we would would have put a stair here but she's just gonna or the homeowner just gonna build a step to go over this so let's work for us i guess we don't have to make a stair yeah we got expansion around that too because this is kind of bent and stuff anytime we're pouring against existing concrete whether expansion is there or not we like to put a piece of duct tape on Especially when there's expansion because then we tape the expansion and then that looks super nice and clean and then also when you're magging it all the cream that would get up here this tape kind of stops that so you don't stay in that concrete and it looks nice and clean but yeah you can kind of see where we had clean gravel and then we got a batch of dirty gravel a lot of different colors going on in here but yeah, there'll be a, uh, how big of a border? Eight inch, 10 inch? Probably like a foot. Like a foot border, we'll go around and then we'll texture that. I'll show you the texture mat later. We're actually about to go pick up a power buggy to buggy this plastic up just around the door. And luckily there's no siding right here so we don't have to worry about splatter much on this. And then over there, there won't be much splatter because we're just gonna have to push it over there. Well, yeah, we're going to finish tidying this up and then we're going to go get the power buggy. Well, we made it back. Got all the porn shit ready. 
power buggy bow float a bunch of teals this is the texture mat I was talking about earlier not much texture but just just enough Groover for the joints. We actually just got this new like a couple weeks ago just to keep like the long joints straight and then we follow up with this. What's up? Howdy. Perfect timing. Got a little ramp for the power buggy. Just over there chilling. This is the edger that we're, we would use to put the, the border cut in. I'm sure some of you saw this before. Another thing you could do is you could take an edger and then when you're edging it, you leave that line and then you could just take your joiner and just follow this on that edge line, but you gotta be very, very steady and I can't think of the word for it. Precise. Yeah, you gotta be very precise. If you do that, you make it crooked easy. But like I was saying earlier with all these PVCs, they come in, it's really hard to compact around this, so what I like to do is yeah. take the, the tamper that we use for stamping what is that cool after? and just get it nice and close up to the foundation and compact all that. Not that you have a bunch of loose gravel right there, and then who knows, maybe five years down the road it'll crack. What time is it? 1.40. Concrete will be here in about 20 minutes. Sounds like concrete. I don't know where to put this. No matter where I put it, there's a sun glare. Yeah. And we got two of new stuff when he came back. We got two fresh edgers too. Yeah, I'd say this stain is gonna buy a bunch of stuff we got like. You yeah, guys must be getting like rich or something. Yeah. Someday.
We got it flat. The dude just put the first edge on it and joints in it and the border cut. It's kind of a what it's gonna look like. I'm playing clean up in the road. The mesh and rebar should be picked up pretty nice. I'll go back and watch the footage and judge you guys. Yeah, I was going around lifting up. Yeah, I Thought I saw everybody. Do you want the small edger for the driveway or no? When I, was, when I was getting concrete, a little mail lady came, looked right at the mailbox and left. Really? Yeah. Oh.
Taylor, right by that white bucket, there's a really small little tool thing. Connor, don't move. Thank you. Yeah, that was pretty wet. More dust.
I like that sound. Yeah, dude, that's, that makes you want to have a... Oh, shit. makes you want to go fast. How many people actually do stamp concrete a lot? Or... Yeah, everyone is flat work, I guess. For the most not part. everyone. No, not everyone. Go more so the bigger cities where you get more money. Right. Mequon. Yeah. Not too many Sam Patty up in the area. <laughs> <laughs> I know where there's one, dude. Yeah. I know where there's one. It's got three different stamps on it. Hell yeah. Can you see it from the road? Looks beautiful. Back to the shooter trying to keep track of bare minimum. That's literally how Wow. Remember all that when we came back? See, so look how nice and clean this expansion looks. So it's right there. Don't look at that. Looks brand new. Well, pretty much all finished for today. It got pretty hard pretty fast, so we were scrubbing. But it's summer, so what's new? This, and we 45 the border cut. And then we'll be back later tomorrow afternoon or Friday. Today's Wednesday to power wash the border. And then we'll probably power wash the broom too. Get some of the boogers off of it. And some of that, that's just powder that flew on there from the wind after we broomed it, so come off. Yeah, nice T cross joint and then the border cut. We'll also seal this too, so it'll look nice. You got anything to say? Happy hump day. <laughs> Happy hump day. I have no idea how the sun reflection affected any of the angles. Because it's pretty dang sunny out. And I can tell on the GoPro, wherever it's sunny, you can't see anything. This little thing was something that we just made ourselves. This is an old broom handle that broke. And then a piece of OSB board. We just use this for only seal patios, put this along the siding, or like you saw, put in the joint. So don't get powder on the patio. But we definitely got some powder on the patio. That's all right. Like I said, it was after we broomed it. Boards are stripped, stakes are pulled. I just power man up the driveway. I'm pretty hot, I'm sweaty. Got a sweat mustache. You see that? But yeah, it was fun. We'll be back in the morning or Friday or late afternoon tomorrow to pressure wash it and then we'll backfill all this. We'll be back in the morning or Friday morning or tomorrow afternoon. Morning. If you remember in the video but all this was broomed and I was finishing this little section right here but this section right here was it was ready to be broomed so we broomed half of this square and then broomed this probably like 20 minutes later so it's got the same broom consistency yeah we'll be back probably later to seal it too once it dries hopefully no leaves fall on it doubt it Probably will be some leaves that fall on it. Okay, we're gonna go do some stuff. We gotta get a patio ready for a stamp patio on Monday. 
Today's Friday. We'll be back. You want to get this corner a little bit more right here? Well, it's Friday afternoon. Just threw two coatings of sealer on it, or Kieran seal. It's pretty much dried. Some of the spots are still wet. Yep, happy Friday. Time for the weekend. See you on Monday, stamp patio action. <laughs> <laughs>